it's Tiffany and I am so excited to introduce you to our new die file. The die file is um, part of the desk made line so it's made out of heavy sturdy wood. It weighs about 15 pounds so it's really a solid construction. It has 10 pull out panels just like, like this. They have the little tab at the end. Now the box itself is 15 by 13 by six and a half. So it's going to fit perfectly in your cube storage. So whether you use the IKEA Expedit or the Calyx or you bought your cube storage at Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby or one of those stores, it's going to fit in any of those cube systems. And you can put two in a single cube. So if you have tons of dies, you might want to start with two of them. You get 10 of the pull-out panels, and like I said, they all have the little tab at the top. And then you're also going to find in your box a little skinny box that looks like this. And this is your, these are your magnetic strips. The magnetic strips are white on the one side, and well, they look like they're white on both sides, but this side is the adhesive side. So you are going to pull that adhesive off, and you're going to stick them down onto the panels, right? So you have 10 strips per panel. And just depending on your own personal preference, you can uh, space them out evenly, um, 10 on each panel. It's just super easy to do. You want to put them in the center, right? Stick it down. And you just want to make sure that you leave the edge so that it can slide back into the box. So super easy to put those on. And like I said, you're just going to space them out evenly, right? You could just grab your ruler. All of us are crafty girls. We all know how to work with a ruler, right? I'm just going to eyeball it for now just to show you how easy it is to put all these things together. You don't have to use all 10 strips on each panel. If you're, use, if you're using it for larger dies, you could put the strips further apart. Or if you're using it for smaller dies, you might want to put those strips closer together. Now, I'm going to re recommend that you put the flat side down because it gets a better, it's better stickiness, right? Um, so now I've got that whole set of dies right there. And I can just fill in this whole page. Little dies. Now, the reason we went with strips instead of giving you one solid sheet of magnets, well, it's twofold. First of all, magnets are super heavy, right? Which is the problem that we have with magnetic binders is that they are so heavy. So that's one thing. But really, the main thing is when you have a die on a magnetic surface that's flat, it's hard to get the die off. But because you have this little lip that's created by the strip, it's really easy to just put your fingernail under there and pop that off. So you are going to love working with these. And you can arrange your dies any way you want. But you don't have to. You can leave, hang them off or put them across. But you're literally going to be able to see your whole die set. This is kind of a weird one that I'm working with because it's like a doll set. So it's got weird arms and legs in the body there label it and then slide it back into the cube right now you can put them in the cube flat which is how i designed it but you can also put two cubes in your uh, calyx if you want to put them up on their side okay magnets hold just fine so 10 magnetic strips per panel if you want to buy a second set of magnetic strips you can put magnets on both sides so, super easy. You can see better when it's down. You're just going to repeat the strip pattern on the other side, and you are going to double your storage space in your little slider. You can't see. There we go. All right. So, super easy. You can organize them by the same way we organize everything else, or, you know, if you follow me, I'm going to recommend that you create a catalog that matches your box and just number each one of your tabs, right? So if you're unfamiliar with the cataloging process that I recommend, there's a lot of videos about that. I'll put, try to put a link um, underneath. And uh, we just got these, so I haven't had time to play with it or set one up yet. Once I get mine all set up, I will also do a little video about that. 
So thanks so much for tuning in to see our new die storage file, part of the DeskMade product line, 15 by 13 by six and a half. Again, two of them will fill one cube of your cube style furniture. Thanks so much for tuning in. I look forward to talking to you soon.